In today's video, we are going to look at website crashes and how can you prevent them using reliable web hosting. So website crashes, really essential to avoid them wherever possible. Consumer surveys show that 77% of visitors will leave a site if they experience an error. So that can really cost you in terms of conversions if you are doing e-commerce particularly, and 60% are unlikely to ever return to the site if they've experienced an error on there. So you could lose a customer permanently if there's any kind of downtime. Let's look at some of the common causes of crashes on websites. So traffic spikes and server overload, these are pretty common issues that a lot of websites will face. Uh, if you experience a sudden surge in traffic, sudden interest in your website or your store, uh, you can overload your server and uh, experience downtime. So that's a number one way. Software bugs and compatibility issues, um, if you don't keep your server updated or you're running uh, software that's unreliable. Uh, cyber attacks, uh, very common these days, much more targeting small businesses. 44% of cyber attacks are now targeting small businesses these days. Hardware failures on the server's back end, if there's no redundancy, if you're relying on a single server, a single point of failure, you can experience um, some pretty severe out, um, downtime because of a hardware failure and poor hosting management. Finally, if the people managing your server um, are not up to the task, that can be a major issue as well. So uh, let's work on how can we mitigate these uh, with reliable web hosting. If you experience a website outage, there are some serious implications. You can obviously lose revenue while the site is down, but the damage to your business, your reputation, your brand, and the decreased customer trust is something very difficult to recover from. Um, you've obviously got recovery costs if there's a hardware failure and Google doesn't like poor performing websites, website errors are gonna result in SEO penalties as well. Let's look at some real examples. Probably the most famous one was back in 2018, the Amazon Prime Day uh, outage where Amazon lost up to $100 million of sales just because the hardware wasn't up to the task of all the promotion they'd done for Amazon Prime Day. They experienced outage, lost a lot of money. Another common example is where you have a new product release. The product is a hot product. For example, Taylor Swift's album caused the entire Spotify service to go down when they released their album. So uh, a new product, when you could expect to experience a surge in revenue, actually results in a crash, which is very bad for business. Another extremely famous one back in 2017, British Airways, complete system failure on its IT systems. Uh, the outage caused massive failure. You've got terrible customer experience here in the airport because their IT systems are down. Uh, this company lost over 200 million US dollars in value just because of the uh, reputational damage that this caused. A lot of these customers are probably never gonna wanna use British Airways again after that experience. In terms of the practical measures we can take to avoid website crashes, the key things are really choosing reliable web hosting, making sure you've got regular and reliable updates, both back end and front end on your server, and utilizing content delivery networks to take load away from the server onto the content delivery network, and effective traffic management. So you might employ something like auto scaling technology if you want to mitigate outages from traffic spikes, for example. Among the most cost-effective solutions for auto-scalable WordPress hosting in this space is going to be Cloudways Autonomous. So this actually uses um, Google Cloud infrastructure using a Google Cloud Kubernetes engine to automatically scale the server resources based on the traffic demand. So behind the robust security of Cloudflare Enterprise, you've got load balancing technology, which automatically can scale the amount of WordPress resources needed to serve your website. This is also backed by 24-7 support and a 99.99% .99 uptime guarantee. So this is a very impressive in this price range. And the independent tech blog at Coder.io actually benchmarked the Cloudways Autonomous Service up against Kinsta and WP Engine. These are probably the main players in this kind of hosting space. I will link to this article in the description, but the key takeaway here is they benchmark these hosts um, in several scenarios with low traffic, medium traffic, and high traffic. So at low concurrency, you have a fairly similar result between each of these web hosts. But when you ramp up the amount of load on the server, you can see that Cloudways starts to offer better performance in terms of how many um, checkouts per second it can process. And that just becomes more pronounced the more load you put on the server. So if you have a situation where you have a high traffic spike, um, Cloudways outperforms its competitors um, by an even greater amount. 
This high concurrency simulation is probably the most important one to be aware of because this is 100 concurrent users. And in this situation, uh, Kinsta and WP Engine are just around one or two checkouts per second and Cloudways is able to manage uh, much more checkouts per second here. So if you were running a social media campaign or advertising, for example, uh, you would be able to make many more sales on Cloudways solution compared to the others. And besides synthetic benchmarks like this, there are some real world examples where the advantage of this auto scaling hosting can be seen. So for the first one, you've got Spitfire Competition. So this is a website where they promote their business by offering uh, flights in these uh, vintage aircraft for just one uh, British pound. So usually these kind of uh, adventures are around 3,000 pounds per person and they offer this uh, for just one pound occasionally and this causes a large traffic spike to their website. The problem they found with their previous hosting was that when they ran these challenges, the actual website would go down. So they had to take other measures like breaking your contact list into sections, sending out emails and uh, SMSs in batches. And this was actually an inefficient use of administrative time for the company. And what they decided to do was eventually move to Cloudways Autonomous. This enabled them to run the promotions uh, without experiencing crashes or freezes. It provided a smooth user experience during peak traffic periods and the extra time and extra admin work saved. They were able to focus more on strategic business goals. So at the end of the day, uh, moving to Cloudways Autonomous actually helped them grow their business. Another success story is Local and Co. This is a digital agency that manages web design um, right through the development and hosting stage. And also they do the social media and SEO marketing as well. So uh, they are exposed to these kind of traffic surges. So one of their more challenging clients was a e-commerce store, high traffic fashion store, hydraulic stores is what it was called. So they were experiencing problems, particularly during sale periods. With their previous hosting during the sale periods, they were experiencing downtimes up to 20%. And this was really affecting their revenue and moving over to Cloudways Autonomous actually led to an increase of over 100% in revenue for Hydraulic Store during the sale period. And the other important example is why the fast solutions. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this sort of setup where you've got a one person agency managing around 65 uh, websites using WordPress. Moving over to Cloudways actually helped him a lot in terms of the support. So Cloudways support um, at this price range is much better than the comp competing hosts. The thing that jumped out to me here is that Eric says, I'm not a server administrator and I'm nowhere close to a command line expert. So running this business by himself, having um, Cloudways provide all the functionalities in a graphic interface that makes sense and makes it easy for people like me to control and configure hosting services without going too deep into the technical weeds of doing so. So what I'm going to show you from here is let's actually jump into the Cloudways dashboard and show you in practice live how easy it is to deploy an e-commerce store um, using Cloudways Autonomous. Okay, so from our Cloudways dashboard, we can add an autonomous app here, add in our name and select our region. I'll go with South Carolina here in North America and we're gonna go with WooCommerce for our demonstration here. Add that application on. This does take a few minutes to get ready, just three minutes in this case. So I'll just come back in a second. And now that that is all successful, we've got our success message there. We can check out our application over here. And now it's just a matter of adding our domain to the site here. So I'm going to put my domain name in here. I'm going to use Ideaspot online for this demonstration. So we add that one on. And then we have to set up our DNS for our domain name. So we just need to add this secure Cloudway sites. A couple of CNAME records will add to our DNS manager. So I'll copy that one and take it over where I have my domain over on Namecheap. For my example here, I'm going to go to my DNS management for Ideaspot Online here. I'm going to add those two records in. So that's just two CNAME records. The um, at um, points to secure Cloudway sites and the www points to secure Cloudway sites as well. So we just save those on and that looks all good. And now it's just a matter of waiting for that to get ready. I'm going to close out of this window here and we just have to wait for the uh, DNS to propagate. So I'm going to come back a little bit later. This should change to a, a green message after the domain is live. So just probably about half an hour later, coming back, our domain is live now and we've got Cloudflare Enterprise added to the domain as well here. So we can get into our website with these credentials and we can go ahead and log into our WordPress dashboard. 
Okay, the first thing we have to do is set up our object cache pro. This is included in our plan. So under settings and object cache, let's go ahead and enable that one. And that's gonna give us improved uh, dynamic caching, which is really good for running a WooCommerce site, which is what we're doing today. So that's enabled, that's all we need. Let's go ahead and set up a theme. Um, so under appearance and themes, I'm gonna install Astra for this demonstration. Keep it fairly simple, add our new theme. I'm gonna go ahead and um, find Astra there. So. Um, go ahead and install Astra, uh, click install and just wait a second for that one to install. After that's ready, we activate it and then we just need to add our template to the site. So once that's active, we'll get our Astra menu here. We can go ahead and to the dashboard, we'll find our starter templates there. We can install our starter templates that adds the template plugin and we can choose an AI um, template or a classic template, which I'll use for this demonstration here. There's lots of templates to choose from. I'm gonna go with this bicycle one for the demonstration. It's just a matter of following through the prompts here. Nothing too technical. This, uh, we can actually skip through these upsells here. We don't need that for what we're doing today. And just fill in this form, make sure all these are ticked and we can go ahead and build. So this takes about a minute, um, but basically just wait and we are all done. Well, here is our e-commerce site all set up and ready to go. The point of doing this was I want to actually test this under load. Um, let's imagine we've got a traffic surge of a lot of items being added to the cart. So let's go ahead and do that. So with this load test, I'm going to use loader IO and I'm going to just add a bunch of things to the cart. Imagine we've got a hundred clients hitting the site over a one minute duration with add to cart requests. Let's go ahead and run this example. So this test shows us live how it's performing, what the response time is, if there's any timeouts or errors. And so I'll just let this run and show you what the results are. So this handled our um, 100 client test just fine here. So around one second response time on average, 100, um, 1,026 milliseconds. So just more than one second average. But actually, I think it was probably lower. There was a, like a little bit of a lag at the start um, and then the tests were all probably around um, just under one second here. And most importantly, no errors. If no one experiences errors, I think that's really important for a e-commerce experience. Back on our application dashboard, we can see the stats in terms of disk space, visits and bandwidth consumption. For example, this is what we used during our testing. And this is really very simple to um, navigate. The performance options here are really uh, very simple in terms of um, Object Cache Pro. That was just one click setup in the WordPress dashboard like we did earlier. The Cloudflare CDN, we set that through the DNS earlier in the video as well. But that's all we need to do in terms of performance optimization. And the other key feature you really need to uh, be aware of is backups. So you can actually do on-demand backups through the um, application dashboard here. And to backup restore, you can do one on-demand. And they also have... If we look at Restore, they have automated backups as well. Um, so it's constantly adding new backups. Because I added this today, they've only got one automated on here, but this will continue to add uh, more automatic backups. So we can restore from any point in the past if you run into any issue. I think backup is probably one of the most important things in terms of having um, a reliable web hosting experience. And besides the traffic and bandwidth monitoring that we saw earlier, they do have some more advanced uh, monitoring under intelligence here where you can look at any um, access logs and error logs for some advanced diagnostics if you need to look at those as well. All right, time for our conclusions. I think the key point here is that hosting that has auto scaling and enterprise grade CDN and is also simple to use, that's pretty hard to come by, especially on a budget, but Cloudways Autonomous gives us a pretty good solution in this space. We saw how essential uh, auto scaling can be for e-commerce, especially these days with social media marketing, um, viral marketing, and you can end up with some pre pretty unpredictable traffic. And that is where you can get some big benefits from auto scaling like we saw with our case studies. So I do have a link in the description if you want to try out Cloudways Autonomous, check that out. And remember to use the um, coupon code IDEASPOT uh, for extra discount as well. But um, let me know what you think in the comments, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.